we got a hiding place. Praise God, praise God, praise God. I tell you that that's a pretty old song. But some of you, praise God, have, have heard that song. Praise God, because in the Word of God, we have a hiding place. Because there's no hiding place down here. Amen, amen. Praise God. And Revelation said they ran to the rocks and say, Follow me and hide me from him that sitteth on the throne. Mm -hmm. But the rocks cried out, I'm burning too. <laughs> so in the word of God, we, we have a hiding place. Praise God. Let us go to the throne and praise Father. We thank you. We praise that we, you have given us at hiding place. Yes, Lord. Yes, we thank Lord. you. Thank you, Lord. By offering up your son and your son giving his life. Oh, God, that we all might have a right to the tree of life. We praise you this morning. We yes, give you Lord. glory. We lift up the living Christ over a dying world. Would you bless this morning? Yes, Lord. Would you, oh, God, would you let your presence be mighty in the midst? Yes, Lord. Your Shekinah glory, God, come down this morning. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, can't do nothing without you. Can't do nothing till you come. Mm -hmm. Come on in the place today. In, Somebody Jesus, need to hear Jesus. from you. Would you bless them now? Yes. Somebody's shut in but not shut out. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, somebody's heavy laid. Someone have a hung down head. But, God, you're able. You know all about it. Yes, touch Lord. now. Somebody touch, need Lord. a touch in their body. Mm -hmm. Stretch forth your nail scarred hands and touch. Because you are the bomb in Gilead. Amen. You are the physician Amen. there. Touch now. Touch now. Heal now. Deliver now. Yes, Satan, we yes, rebuke yes. you. We rebuke you. We rebuke, you. We rebuke your very present. We rebuke your, your works. We bind your forces. Cast you out. Loose the mind. Loose the will. The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood will never lose its power. Power in the blood. Power in the blood. Oh, God, have mercy upon have your mercy, people. Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy upon have your mercy, people. Have mercy, Lord. Grant us your grace this morning. Oh, God, and we promise to give it all the glory to you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for Jesus who laid the foundation and opened up the way. What more can he do? Amen. Praise God. We thank God for Jesus. Thank God for you, you, and you. Mm -hmm. Thank God for my wife. Brother Woodley being back, Amen. I tell you, Amen. God Amen. is good. Yes, he is. Somebody yes. said he's good all the time. Can't beat him doing nothing. I know, that's right. So we thank God for our brother being back. Praise God. At this time, my wife is coming, Dr. Irene, mm -hmm. with a scripture and with an announcement. Bless you, honey. God bless you. Thank God for the prayer. Thank God for being back on the broadcast station again this morning. We are grateful to be in the in place as anointed Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, in this house. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our scripture today will be taken from 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Again, it says 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Uh -huh. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Our announcements are as follows. Now, where Christian Fellowship is located at 2827 Highway 30. That's 2827 Highway 30 in Clayton, Alabama. 36016 is our zip code. Yes. Uh, 36016 is our zip code. We invite you to come and be a part of Narrow Way every Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. for church school and every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock a.m. for morning worship. We have noonday prayer on Wednesday. That's 12 o'clock noon. We need to pray. We need to pray. It's praying time. We need to pray together. Intercessory prayer is necessary. We need to intercede for someone else. So whether you're at work, at home, or at play, Please remember to stop and pray for somebody needs a prayer breakthrough. 12 o'clock on Wednesday, let us pray together. Thursday night, we invite you to Bible study at 6.30 p.m. Thursday night. We have an awesome Bible study there where people are gathering and talking about the Word of God, discussing things that they haven't been able to talk about, and, and uh, we're asking you to please come out. You won't leave the way you came. Amen. 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 And we ask you to remember to call a friend and, and tell them that the watchman is on the wall broadcasting on WYDK 97.9 FM every Sunday morning at 7 o'clock a.m. Remember to mark your calendar. Remember to mark your calendar. Remember to mark your calendar for Sunday, August the 17th. 
that Sunday, the third Sunday, August the 17th at 3 o'clock p.m., we're going to have 100, 100 women in purple. 100 women in purple will be our, our women's ministry. Uh, Pastor Zeta Florence from Upper Lyca, Alabama will be our speaker for that day. 100 awesome women in, speaker. in awesome purple. Speaker. Men, you can come too. We invite you to come on out yes, and fellowship with us yes. also. We Everybody. don't care whether you are male or female. Please come, oh, come. and make this an exciting uh, event for our 100, 100 women in purple women's ministry. That's on August the 17th at 3 o'clock p.m. And uh, also, we asking you to please bring a friend, bring a uh, loved one, a tell them to come on out. Bring your neighbor. Bring tell your them. cousins, your uncles. <laughs> Let them know that we need you to be there. It's going to be a, women a, a 100 women in purple. Amen. And please don't forget that uh, September the 2nd uh, will be our, our grand opening for the Isaiah Bob Institute. Uh, September the 2nd, we're going to have orientation uh, August the 19th through the uh, 21st. At two to four, from two o'clock to four o'clock, but we need you to register now for classes begin September the second, and we have General Bible one and two, teachers training one and two, church history, evangelism, and post grad class, and we ask you to please register now. If you don't uh, uh, know how to study the Bible properly, if you want to learn more about evangelism, evangelizing, please give us a call three three four three seven zero three nine eight eight or three nine eight five. Uh, then give us a call. And please, we thank you for letting us know that you listen to us on the broadcast. We Amen. thank you Amen. for letting you, us know that you you are you care and you're Since concerned. We thank you for the cards that you send. We thank you for the donations. We ask you to please remember to pray for the sick and shut in. Those who are incarcerated, those who are in the hospitals, jails, and, and, and those who are in nursing homes. Please remember to pray for the veterans. And without a doubt, remember to pray for the President of the United States and the government. God bless you. God bless you. And heaven shine upon you is my prayer. God bless you, honey. Uh, let us uh, remember the uh, announcements, praise God. And uh, let us go to the Word of God now. Uh, we had a scripture from uh, starting out study, praise God, because we realize how important the Word of God is, how important, praise God, the information of scripture Amen. The Bible speaks of, of the people in the Bible that they study the scriptures daily. Mm -hmm. They daily search the scripture. Uh, and I tell you, my friend, I want to encourage you this morning mm -hmm. to study the word of God because there's too many things, praise God, that is being said and being done. Praise God, that's not in the Word of God. Because Paul, John said that there would be false prophets, false teachers, uh, false, even false Christ, the Antichrist, mm -hmm. would come in the last day. How will you know what is true and what is false if you don't study the Word of God? And I'm talking about studying it for yourself, not taking somebody else's Word for something so important Amen. to you. Amen. We are talking not only about your life. We are talking about your eternal soul. Amen. Amen. My friend, the, the, the Bible let us know that there's, a, there's a, a need for all mankind. And that's the salvation of a dying soul. Praise God. But that there's a deception from the enemy. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. That Deception has been since the Garden of Eden. Amen. How the, 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 the serpent, how Satan came into the garden and deceived the woman. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Even in the Garden of Eden. And that deception has been going on ever since. So my friend this morning, don't be fooled. Not right now. Don't be fooled. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Check the word out. Study. 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 The scripture says, study to show thyself approved unto God. Not to man. Not to man. But unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, right. rightly dividing the word of truth. You, see, see, sometimes people just read a scripture and they think that's it. But my friend, that's not study. No, it's not. No, it is not. Just reading a scripture too is not study. Praise God. The Bible speaks of line upon line, precept, precept on precept. Here a little, there a little. 
my friend, we need to know the Word of God. Okay, there's a lot of people being robbed out of their money because they can't count. That's right. Now listen to what I'm saying carefully. You, listen, the only way you know three and three is six is because you can count. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you didn't know that three and three is not seven, you wouldn't know the difference. That's right. The same way it is with the Word of God. My friend, this Word, uh, we, you heard us singing from the very beginning. In the Word of God, we have a hiding place. It's the only place that we can hide, my friend. That's right. It's the ark of safety. Mm -hmm. And I can encourage you this morning to study the Scriptures. Let me, let me show you some of the reason why. In the Scripture, praise God, in, in St. John, the 16th chapter, and the first verse, listen to what it says. St. John 16. Just give me a second here. I'm going to show you some why it's so important. Because in the latter days, there's some going to be some strange stuff going on in this world. And you're not going to know the difference unless you study. Mm -hmm. St. John, the 16th chapter, first verse, it says... <clears throat> These things I have spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended. They shall put you out of their synagogues. Yea, the time will come, is coming, time coming, that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. People are going to be so deceived in this last day. The devil is going to trick them to the point they're going to kill people thinking that they are serving God. Mm, mm, mm. My God from Zion. And then the Bible said, there will come a day when they're going to call good evil mm -hmm. and evil good. They're going to call right, right, wrong, and wrong, right. How will you know if you don't study the Word of God? The Bible says you shall know the truth. Mm -hmm. Praise God. John 8 and 31. If you continue in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth. Mm -hmm. And the truth shall make you free. My friend, you can't know the truth, really know the truth, unless you study. Amen. Unless you read it for yourself. Listen, listen, let me let me say this. Don't take my word. Don't take your preacher's word. Don't take your pastor's word. Don't take the evangelist's word. The apostle prophet. Because the Bible says it's going to be false apostles. They're going to be false prophets, false preachers, false apostles, false Christians. It's going to be false everything. How will you know if a person is false if you don't have a study of the word for yourself? Amen, amen. Don't take no anybody's word for it. Study it for yourself. And I know a lot of people think, well, let the pastor do it. Let the preacher do it. But we are talking about your soul here. Amen. I said, we are talking about your eternal soul. Yes, indeed. And where are you going to spend eternity? My friend, there's nothing more important than that. That's right. Please hear me this morning. I mean, the Lord, the Holy Ghost dropped this thing in my spirit and it was like a bomb. People are being deceived right now. Yes, Even yes, while yes. you are listening to me on this radio, listen, people are being deceived. Yes. The devil is deceiving people. Yes, He's yes, tricking yes. people. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know three and three is six, somebody can trick you too. Amen. The only reason, my friend, people can't cheat you out of your money is because you can count. All right, all right. But I tell you, a lot of people are being cheated because they, they, they go into a store and don't even count their change. That's right. And they don't know. They, they, they've been shortened their change, praise God, when they go into a store. People, they, people rob you of your money because you, you don't count your change. Because you don't really know how much change they gave you. Mm-hmm. My friend, we're talking about your soul this morning. And, and Paul encourages us to study the Word of God. Get into the Word. Listen, you do yourself a disservice. Disservice if not only you, but how are you going to teach your children? Mm -hmm. How will you teach your children? How will you help your sister? How will you help your brother? How will you help your family? Mm -hmm. The Bible 
said charity begins at home. Amen. And then it sheds abroad. Well, if you don't know the word of God, if you don't know what God says in his word, how are you going to help somebody? Oh, my friend, listen to what God is saying to you this morning. There's a scripture right now. Let me I'm going to go to you and take. This is a no soul salvation. Do you not know people are walking around every day? They go to church. That's, that's good and well in its place. But people are going to church back and forth, the Bible study, here and there. But you know what? If you ask them, are they sure where they're going to spend eternity? If they die today, they don't know. You know why? Because they have not read it for themselves. Mm -hmm. I encourage you this morning, my friend. Read your Bible, study your Bible, and examine yourself. Mm -hmm. That's the song. Study your Bible and examine yourself, my friend. Mm -hmm. You examine. You check it out. Don't take anyone's word. Don't take. Listen, I warn you. You're getting the warning this morning. And this is the watchman on the wall. And it's my job to let you know what God is saying to his people. All right. When they need a warning, the Bible says this. Say if the watchman don't give warning and the enemy comes and take them unaware, then God said then the blood is going to be on the watchman's hand. I'm going to tell you right now. Your blood ain't going to be on my hand. All right. Amen. Paul said, woe unto me if I preach not this gospel. And I'm going to get the woe off of me, my friend. And I say to you, my, my friend, listen, study this Bible. Go into this word every day. Study your Bible every day until you know what is written. The scripture says this. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone. But every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And what, what Jesus is saying, it is written. In other words, whatever is written, God has given us this Bible as our road map. This Bible is our instruction. But you know what? Every once in a while, I leave my road map home. Mm -hmm. When we go on a trip, I don't never like to leave home without my road map. But you know what? Every once in a while, I walk out and leave that road map. But you know what? When I get into an area that is strange and I'm not familiar with the area, then there's confusion. Mm -hmm. Because I, I don't, I'm, I'm not familiar with the territory. I'm not familiar with the highway. And that's what this Bible teaches us. Jesus says this, I am the way. The truth. The truth and the life. No man coming to the Father but except by me. by me. My friend, Jesus is the Word. Yes, yes. Hello? Yes. The that Bible was said it. in First St. John 1, In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made by Him. Without Him was not anything made. That was me. My friend, don't be fooled. Don't let the enemy fool you. That's right. He's yeah. fooling people. Yes, 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 yes. He's yes. fooling people thinking that they can get baptized and go to heaven. Mm, my God. That's not true. No, it's not. The devil is fooling folks saying you can join a church and, and go to heaven. No, that's not true. You can't get to heaven by joining a church. Nope. You can't join this church. You must be born into it. Amen, amen. My God from Zion. Matter of fact, people are being fooled. That's a scripture that I've been hearing ever since I was a child. But you know what? When I start to study the Bible for myself, I find out it wasn't true. And that scripture is that when Jesus come back, he's coming back for a church without a spot or wrinkle. That's not true. That's not what the Word says. And I know you've been hearing that. I've been hearing that. But that's not what the Scripture says. Because if he's coming back for a church without a spot or wrinkle, he's not going to find it. Because there's no such church. But the Scripture did say that he will present the church to himself, not having spot, spot or wrinkle. He's going to present the church to himself, 
a glorious church. In other words, he's going to cleanse it. He's going to sanctify it and present it to the Father. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what the Word says. And my friend, I say to you, check it out, check it out, check it out. How will you dress yourself when the Bible said the Word of God is a mirror? It's a mirror that we look into. Praise God. Just like your mirror at home. First the natural, then the spiritual. Amen. That mirror that you have at home. You don't know how you look when you go leave out your house if you haven't looked into the mirror. Amen. You don't know whether you have your, your wig on right or, or your clothes on right. You don't know whether they are matching. You, you don't even, sometimes people come out with two different shoes on. Mm -hmm. They come out with two different color socks on. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they haven't checked themselves. Mm -hmm. They haven't looked into the mirror. Amen. The word of God is a mirror. Amen. And I say to you, my friends, I, because I love you. I love the souls of men. We love you. Amen, amen. And we are concerned about your soul. Amen. But I say to you, my friend, don't let anyone be more concerned about your soul than you are. All right now. I'm going to say that again. Don't let anyone, your pastor, your minister, don't let anybody mm -hmm. be more concerned about where you spend eternity right. than you are. All right. Your soul is precious. The Bible said, what profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul. All right, amen. Oh, my friend, Jesus loves you. Mm -hmm. And he just wants you to be saved. Amen. He wants you to get it right. And I tell you, we need to study. In order to get it right, we need to study. Proverbs, the 14th chapter. 14th chapter of Proverbs says this. Listen carefully. 14 and 12. It says this, There is a way That's which sweet. seemeth right to, unto man, but the end thereof is are the ways of death. Listen to what it says. You hear what it says? There is a way that looks right. Mm -hmm. Oh, radio people, listen here this morning. There is a way that looks good, looks right. And sometimes people say it feels good, mm -hmm. but it's not about your feelings. All right now. My friend, we got to know, know that you know that you know that your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. And if you don't study, you cannot know. There is no way you can know. Amen. I'm going to read that scripture again. Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way mm -hmm. which seemeth right. It seems right. But you know what? It's not right. The same thing I tell the people in Bible study sometimes. You can be ever so sincere, mm -hmm. but you can be wrong. Mm -hmm. And there were some people who was like that in the Bible. They came running to Jesus and said, we prophesied in your name. We cast out devils in your name. We did many wonderful works in your name. Mm -hmm. But Jesus said, depart from me. Ye that work iniquity. I don't know you. Jesus said, I don't know you. Amen. But do you not know the Bible said, We, Jesus knows his sheep. Mm -hmm. He knows his own. My friend, do Jesus know you? Right. But more so, praise God, do you know Jesus? All right now. Do you know the Lord? Do you know the Lord? How would you ever know unless you study? Amen. Unless you study for yourself. The preacher, the teacher, they can only give you an overview. They can only give you a prospectus on the Word of God. God expects for you to go home and study the Word of God for yourself. Amen, amen. Because in the Word of God, we have a hiding place. Amen. Oh, my friend, here today, here today, mm -hmm. we have a wonderful Savior. We have a wonderful God. He's a wonderful creator. And he's saying to you this morning, don't be deceived. Don't be tricked by the enemy. Yes, he's going to do everything he can to deceive you, to trick you, to tempt you. Listen, my friend, get this. He tempted Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who in the world are we? Even in the, in, the, in, the, in the temptation in the wilderness, the devil tempted our Savior. Amen. And he's God. All right. All right. So if he tempted him, 
What about you? What about, you? What about me? Mm -hmm. But my friend, you can't really know until you study it for yourself. Amen. Amen. And I say again, don't take anybody's word for, praise God, for your soul, knowing that your soul is right with God. Mm -hmm. In in first in first John. We're going to go down for a minute. First Epistle of John, it speaks about these things are written. What are they talking about? Talking about the scriptures. These things are written that you might know. First John 5 and 13. First John 5 13. and starting at the, at the uh, ninth verse, it says this. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God which he has testified of his son. And that witness is the word of God. Mm -hmm. he, the verse, he that believeth on the son of God has the witness in himself. How do you know you believe on the son of God if you don't have the witness of the Holy Ghost in you? The Bible said that, that that's the way we know because the Holy Ghost, it beareth witness with our spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar because he hath, he believeth not the, uh, the record that God gave his son. Mm -hmm. The 11th verse. And this is the record that God has given to us eternal life. And this life is in his son. The life is in the Lord Jesus Christ. In him is life. Hallelujah. Mm. If you have the Son, you have life. But if you don't have the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, you don't have life. Mm. You are still in your sins mm -hmm. on your way to hell. But how can you check it unless you study the Word? Mm -hmm. He that hath the Son has life, and he that hath not the Son of God has not life. I didn't say it. The Word said it. That's right. 13 verse. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that they may know, that they may know, hallelujah, mm -hmm. that they may know that ye have eternal life and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. This is a no-so salvation. Right. This is not a think-so or wonder-so. Some people say, I'm hoping so. My friend, it's a no-so. God would never keep something so important from you. Amen, amen. Something as important as where you will spend eternity. In the Word of God, we have a hiding place, my friend. Mm -hmm. Study to show yourself approved in God. Study today. Study every day. Pray and study the Word of God because in the Word of God, we have a hiding place. May God bless you. May heaven smile on you. I pray. If you don't have study skills, if you don't have a desire to study the Word, I'm praying for you. Mm -hmm. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we actually give your people a hunger for your word. Amen. A hunger and a thirst for your righteousness. And we promise to give you the glory for it. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And amen.